Wolf kissing? Ew, yucky. How many diseases did she catch? She dope, but the mouth licking. I couldn't have done that. Would have threw up everywhere. Please don't watch three minutes, four seconds in. It'll make you vomit. I hope she didn't get sick after getting her mouth licked by wild animals. WTF. Today, I will speak to you guys about the wolf experience and explain to you why I am not kissing wolves, why it's not germ infested and yucky and why it is necessary to do it if you want the wolf to trust you. Alligators, she's mad. <gasps> she's going to get eaten. I love you, girl, but you've officially lost your mind. Swimming with one alligator until that one day. Chomp, are you brave or crazy? Uh, guys, I'm not going to get eaten, but I'm going to give you some secrets from behind the scenes to let you know why and why it is safe to swim with these underwater predators. Dogs, why does she keep putting her head into strange dogs' faces? Oh, and Kumi, let's not forget mispronunciation. Is it Newfoundland? Is it St. Bernard? Or maybe it's Chong Chongqing? Chongqing? Or Bauble? Booble? Bobel. So today, guys, you're going to get the exclusive on the behind the scenes experience I had with the Norwegian wolves and also some of Animal Watch's best moments. So please don't turn off because all will be revealed later in this episode. In the meantime, do you guys remember any of these when I encouraged a fish to bite my hand? Cats that look like wolves? meeting the last two northern white rhinos on planet Earth. When I have sailed down a wall with a 30 kilogram dog in between my legs. When I met some of the world's most feared dog breeds. And of course, bite work. Oh, and me also getting bitten. Falling off sleds. Oh, and keeping chill as wolves beat up on each other. Hey, but it's all in a day's work. Last but not least, me howling with wolves from all over the globe. Don't go away, as it's going to be an exciting episode. fans today you'll get an exclusive behind the scenes look at some of the animal watch episodes because animal watch is on half a million subscribers hooray and just for that you get to hear my fabulous howl all over again As we know dogs are from wolves, where are my animal watch howls? That's much better, isn't it, Kumi? Yes. Well, it's been three years since I started Animal Watch and we've just hit 100 million views and half a million subscribers. It's been hard work, but great fun traveling all over the globe filming for you. And I'm overjoyed to say that dogs enjoy watching Animal Watch just as much as you humans like here. This is the polar opposite to a wolf. And then we're going to have a lady on a dog scooter. And it's akin to a very weak 
Now most people who see one and have no experience. More like your company, yeah. and then that gives you a chance to. <laughs> And a history that goes back over 3,000 years. Formed the new Czechoslovakian wolf dog, Height. Also, Animal Watch doesn't always go to plan. There are often some outtakes, um, which would include the husky wheeing on me, which um, my camera lady was luckily not filming when it happened. Take a look at these. Stay. Milo. Oh boy, right now. But... No. Oh. <laughs> Milo, don't jump. Quickly, <laughs> quickly. Get on the chair. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Animal Watch. And this week we're talking Sholo. And he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> on social media for your most loved Animal Watch highlights and your most asked questions. So today I'm going to answer them for you. But first of all, YouTube Kumi doesn't give a half million subscriber award. It gives a, a hundred thousand award um, and it gives a, a million award, but it, it doesn't give a 500,000 subscriber award. I'm so sad. Kumi, where are you going? But Kumi, what's this? What's this, Kumi? Oh my God, it's a 500,000 followers. YouTube award from Kumi. Oh, Kumi, come here, thank you. You're so sweet, look. Oh, it's so lovely, look at it. Thank you so much, Kumi. I'm gonna put that here. So let's talk wolves. I flew to Norway in March 2019 and filmed with a pack of wolves where I interacted, watched their behaviour and also howled with them. The howl clip became an internet sensation with Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's ex-wife, sharing the clip. The YouTube video has also made over 2 million hits and is still growing. As well as being extremely popular, I have been aware that a lot of viewers were confused to my interaction with the wolves and have described it as kissing licking, and other words I can't repeat on here. It was explained in the episode that wolves communicate in a much more pushy and insistent manner than dogs. They lick each other's teeth and mouths in order to gain trust and affirmation. Sure, I could have not let them do this to me, but they would not have trusted me like they did and would not have captured the amazing footage that I did. There is nothing weird or strange about this behaviour. I was simply allowing the wolves to smell and taste me like they do to one another. They would have been able to see if I was ill, what I had eaten, and if I was a friend or foe. I certainly wanted to be their friend. I was told that their lead male Braga really accepted me, and this was very rare. So perhaps my behaviour was in tune with the wolves. So I was not trying to get some weird kick out of it. I was simply trying to put the walls at ease. Also, I will not get diseases or sickness and it will surprise you to know, in fact, walls have more than 600 different types of bacteria in their mouths, which is a similar number to the 615 types of bacteria Harvard researchers have found in human mouths. So humans actually have 15 more types of bacteria than canines. The other interesting fact is the expression a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's mouth might actually be true. As we don't typically swap diseases with our dogs, 
when we swap saliva. You are not going to get the flu from a dog kiss, but you might get it from kissing a human loved one. Most of the bacteria in your dog's mouth are not zoonotic, which means you probably won't get a disease from a big old doggy kiss. Also, your dog or wolf will have been in contact with lots more different things than humans. So perhaps the human who has let dogs lick them since they were born could be better equipped to fend off dog germs than a human who lets a dog lick them for the first time ever. As someone who has kept dogs since I was born, perhaps I am already immune to many of the things that dogs come into contact with. Anyway, I haven't got sick yet and I've seen the teeth of some of the men that you women kiss. And I've got to say, I'm surprised you haven't got sick yet. Eh, yucky. <coughs> so another question I get asked loads is, why do wolves howl when you howl at them? Well, the truth is actually, they actually can't help it. <laughs> Have you seen the animation Zootopia where the wolves simply can't stop themselves from howling? Well, it's sort of true. <gasps> I howled and they automatically howled back. Eve, the high content wolf dog, also is the same and can't help herself from singing that beautiful melody whenever I howl to her. Wolves howl to let other packs know where the boundaries to their territories lie, but also when they wake up to rally the pack and before a hunt. Dogs only really howl now when they're lonely and want attention. Wolves rarely bark. I've seen it a few times. It's a low, rough sound when they sense danger, but nothing like the dog, who was developed and bred by humans to have a really loud and noisy, repetitive bark to alert humans to strangers or attack. And another thing you guys commented on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, was how cruel and mean I was for waking that pack of wolves. Well, I had to wake them because in order for me to be able to leave safely, they needed to know that I was moving. You try and startle a sleeping pack of wolves and see what happens. So there you go. There's always a reason for everything. So another clip that Animal Watch viewers loved was the world's oldest wolf, Maddie, who lived at Wolf Watch UK until the ripe old age of 19. I had the great honour of interacting with Maddie for about a year before she passed and was able to share this amazing story with the world. As you can see from this footage, not a lot of difference here between Maddie and a large dog. Remember, dogs share the same DNA as a wolf. It's simply 30,000 years of breeding which has tamed their spirit and changed their appearance. But every dog in your living room is still a wolf underneath and can breed with a wolf to produce fertile young. Now I've had many comments about how dangerous it is for me to put my face in other strange dogs' faces when I turn up for filming. Firstly, I don't just start filming and meet the dog for the first time. Animal Watch crew turns up and meets the dog and owner first, so the dog is put at ease. I find out if the dog will tolerate my attention and will only ever interact closely with a dog once I've read its body language and it's comfortable around me. Dogs and wolves can smell fear and apprehension and I can guarantee if you're friendly and loving and affectionate towards the pooches that you meet for the first time, they're gonna be much more relaxed around you. In fact, one of the most common phrases I hear from people that I'm filming with is that their dogs are really at ease with me. And sometimes these dogs don't behave that way with other people. So I must be doing something right. Diving with alligators. Now it's fun to read your comments here about when I traveled to Florida and dived underwater with alligators. Some of you were concerned for my safety and others of you thought I was bonkers. Firstly, no one in their right mind would ever simply go to the Everglades and jump in a marsh with an alligator. I went to a special alligator rescue and rehabilitation center called Everglades Outpost and entered into a pool with a very tame alligator called Casper. His keeper, Chris, was totally in control of this alligator at all times, and Casper had even learned how to come when he was called. Alligators are fairly skittish compared to a saltwater crocodile, 
and at no point will I be getting into a pool with one of these. But swimming underneath Casper while Chris watched on Just In Case was as safe as playing with a puppy. I promise you, it wasn't dangerous. Since then, I have dived with sharks too, which was an incredible encounter and again, not dangerous. If you missed it, I'll pop an info link at the top. And finally, here are some of the stars of some of Animal Watch's most popular episodes, sending us their congratulations for reaching half a million subscribers. I'll pop a link to their individual episodes at the top of the screen as each one comments. Animal Watch, half a million viewers. Well done. <laughs> Hi Annika, it's Kate and I've got Zeus and Nadia with me just to say well done 500,000 subscribers to Animal Watch. Fantastic. We'll see you soon. Bye. Taggy, Bunny and all here at Arctic Rainbow would like to say huge congratulations to Annika and Animal Watch for reaching half a million subscribers to the Animal Watch YouTube channel. It's absolutely amazing guys. Well done. Congratulations our friend Annika at Animal Watch. For reaching half a million subscribers on YouTube. We are so happy for you and thank you for always supporting us. Congratulations Animal Watch for half a million subscribers. Let's more with you. Hi Annika and everyone at Animal Watch. This is Trevor Williams from the Fox Project. Missed you coming along to see our cubs this year. They've all grown up now and heading back to the world. But they wanted me to, and him to send you congratulations on reaching half a million subscribers. Now on to the full million. Congratulations to Animal Watch for reaching half a million subscribers from Milo and Justine and some friends. So here, Kumi, is to another year of big dogs, huge wolves, massive predators, and of course, funny outtakes. And a massive thank you to all my Animal Watch viewers. Who would have thought that after three years we'd be traveling the world, visiting all these wonderful dogs and wolves and wild animals. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner and drop by our sister channel, Green World TV, where there are more stories on rescue and conservation. I'll pop a link in the top corner so you can find Green World TV really, really easily. Please subscribe to it. We're trying to grow the channel. It's only on about 25,000 followers so far, but we want to see it get as big as Animal Watch. And have you got your Animal Watch t-shirt yet? It's available on Teespring. You can find links at the bottom of every single episode in the description underneath the videos. You've got to get one. They're fabulous. I made them especially for you and I wear them in a lot of my episodes. So bye everybody and thanks for watching and remember to tune in every single week when I will be bringing you some more fabulous episodes on wolves, dogs, animal rescue and conservation. Kumi, Kumi, thank you for the award. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, it's disgusting. She's licking a wolf.